This is a trombone, except I don't even need to be in the same room as it to play it, because this trombone plays itself. After giving it a song, it will move the slide and blow air through the instrument to automatically play notes. In the end, I think this trombone is better at playing the trombone than I am. This whole idea started when I was bored in quarantine, so I decided to practice the trombone. Well, it turns out I don't have the patience to learn to play the trombone correctly, so instead, well, I made the trombone play itself. It turns out, however, that trombones aren't very good at playing a song without someone using it. A trombone is played by buzzing the lips against the mouthpiece in order to vibrate the air. These air vibrations enable the trombone to produce a sound. The pitch of the trombone sound can be changed by changing the frequency at which the air vibrates. There are two main ways to change this frequency, your embouchure and the tubing length. Embouchure is the shape of your mouth when you play the trombone. Pressing the lips tighter together will create faster frequencies and thus increase the pitch, while blowing with loose lips will cause slower frequencies and therefore decrease the pitch. The other way to change the frequency is by changing the length of tubing that the air travels through, all the way from the mouthpiece to the bell at the end of the trombone. The main way to alter the length of the trombone's tubing is to use the slide. Pushing the slide further away will create more tubing and therefore slow frequencies and lower pitches. Obviously, I can't play a self-playing trombone and therefore cannot provide the air the trombone needs. So I used the next best alternative to a person, a balloon. By changing the angle between the mouthpiece and the balloon, I can change the air's frequency and therefore play different notes. This is done by routing air from an air compressor through a nozzle that can turn the air supply on and off, and finally into a balloon that attaches to the mouthpiece. But I also needed to further tune the frequency using the slide. To do this automatically, I added a simple gear to move the slide back and forth. And after way too much CAD 3D printing coding and duct tape, I had this. And it works, mostly. It can't play some notes, it has no sense of style, it plays super slowly, and sometimes it just falls apart. But besides that, it works perfectly. With that being said, here is the world's first trombone solo played by the autopilot of trombones.